Hello everyone, it's me again, Matt. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are learning about my family, my other family, the Royal Canadian Artillery, and our involvement with an operation that's been going on for a very, very, very long time. Now, Canada, as you know, we have a lot of mountains to the west. In fact, we have a lot of mountains all over the country, and as blessed as we are to have them, they are also extremely dangerous at this time of year, especially the amount of snowfall we get in places like the Rogers Pass, which is actually in British Columbia, right next door to my own home province of Alberta. Now, I actually have really wanted to take part in what these gunners are doing in this particular situation, which is avalanche control, and they are using the C3 howitzer, which you see right here, being put into fixed positions, actually being able to produce firepower downrange onto the mountains to preemptively create avalanches before it gets a lot more dangerous in the season where there's an absolute ton of snow where it could actually fall onto highways railways etc and as you can see by this uh, overpass here it's actually been channeled to keep the snow away from the highway now the gunners have been given pretty much um standard issue data that's been given from many fire missions in the past so everything is fairly straightforward there's not too much complexity because basically everything's already done um this has been done for a very very long time the gunners know exactly what they're doing however it's still a skill it is still a profession and the gunners take it very very seriously along with parks canada who actually do the studies of the snowfall and the way in which the snow packs into the mountains so that the artillery can be tasked with specifically putting rounds in placement where exactly it needs to go so they can try and trigger that avalanche perfectly because if they don't they're going to miss um the potential to create that avalanche and save lives which is critical it's one of the really cool parts of being an artillery gunner especially here in western canada uh, as a reservist like myself as a gunner in the artillery i would love to take part in this uh, you know the people that i've spoke to have taken part really enjoyed it it gives them good time on the guns it gets them to an absolutely beautiful part of canada in winter really really nice um, you actually get to see full-size avalanches actually happen, which to me would be really just cool to see in itself. And the fact that you get to practice, you know, putting live rounds downrange in your own country um, in a area that is, you know, pretty, pretty hazardous. You know, you yourself could be taken out by an avalanche just deploying the gun. And I think a lot of people aren't aware that this is something that you can partake in or participate in in the Royal Canadian Artillery. So if you have interest in becoming a part of the armed forces and you want to be a part of the artillery, this is something you can be involved in. And it is really, really cool. It's a cool thing to know that you're actually doing something that is saving lives. You've got to think about this a little bit here, folks. There's been some really nasty avalanches in the past. You know, in the 50s, there was a huge one that killed, I think, close to 58 people here in Canada in the same area. Um, actually, it took a complete train out. It was, it was pretty serious. And the reason uh, that we've been doing this avalanche control ever since that date so intensely is that Canada knows that this is serious stuff. And when I say serious stuff, I mean that this isn't just, you know, an off-the-whim kind of thing. There's a lot of research and science that goes into making sure that everything is done perfectly in these kind of scenarios. When you're working on the gun, you know, there is no room for error. We triple-check everything in the artillery. We make sure everything's running smooth, make sure all the data is correct in the gun, and the gun platform is just running like a clock. And as you can see, these gunners pretty much know exactly what to do where to go and it's it's regimented that's how the artillery works our fire discipline is to a t we don't mess around and especially so much so when we're working in such a da dangerous environment um it's just crucial and parks canada you know they they pull us along and they say you know let's put some rounds down range i'm sure deep down they really want to pull the lanyard um but at the end of the day it wouldn't be for naught without parks canada actually giving us the the input and the data and the information the artillery needs because Really, we're just the sharp end of the stick. You know, we're putting the, the round down range. But all the technicalities has really been organized by Parks Canada. They've been doing some intense work to make sure that everything is safe for the public. And it just makes me proud knowing that Canada actually wants to really invest a lot of time, money, effort, and research into making sure that the public is safe. Because these things are absolutely devastating if they want to be. So if you do have any interest in wanting to become a gunner or be involved in Upalachi, which is the name of the operation that Canada has been involved in for quite some time in Avalanche Control, you're more than welcome to ask me in the comment section below. I do have people who have been on this operation and are actually currently serving in it in this time of year. So I can try and get as much information as I can to you, or you can just ask about the artillery in general. I'd be more than happy to help you out. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one chat, you can go check out my Discord channel, which is in the description box below. If you want to be notified of any upcoming videos, 
videos, please feel free to hit the little bell button by the subscribe button so you can be notified of any upcoming videos in the future. Those of you who have been uh, contributing towards my Patreon and fundraiser page, I cannot thank you enough. It really is appreciated. Thank you so much for doing so. And I hope to see you all on the next video in the near future. Thanks again so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe in the mountains if you're out there skiing and, you know, enjoying the snow. And I will see you again. All the best. Bye-bye.